teaching in the virtual environment is much like teaching in a regular classroom. The difference is, of course, that you can't be face-to-face -face necessarily without a webcam, um, it, but there are some nuances to how you interact with your audience. I've created just a, a quick Cisco WebEx meeting to give us a general idea of what teaching in a virtual environment is like. Now, I have created a whiteboard, and you can do that by choosing New Whiteboard. A whiteboard is just simply a blank space that we can choose some different tools, like this is a pointer tool, so we can point to some specific things that we may be talking about. We could use a marker if we want to draw some information and things of this nature, change the color of our marker. So it's just a way to kind of illustrate some concepts. It's just a very basic, quick way of interacting with what might be on your whiteboard. I'm going to erase all of these. These are called annotations. So I'm going to clear all these annotations. Now notice that this pointer didn't go away. That's because it's not an annotation. It's a pointer. Now, I've loaded this whiteboard. I've just created it. It's just a blank space, much like this whiteboard that I've just changed to. It's just a blank space. Really, what you put on whiteboards are things like slides. So I've loaded up this slide from a PowerPoint, and it's so that I can interact as if I'm teaching PowerPoint to my audience. And now on this whiteboard, I could highlight things, and I could get my marker and uh, you know circle different important topics. So it's a way of interacting right with my users. Now to navigate through the slides, I can just go to my next page and then these slides will play just like I was watching a PowerPoint presentation. So it's, it's just a way of, of loading up the slides as all at a whiteboard for all effective purposes what it is. And then of course I can interact with it. Like I can say this is something that you really want to pay attention to and I can point to these different things that I may be teaching to my class. I could also change to a pencil, so if I want to be a little bit more narrow than with the big fat marker. So just a way of interacting. Now in addition to sharing slides and sharing the whiteboard, we can also share some things like uh, videos. Now if I loaded a video, we can see it here. Obviously I don't have one loaded because it's this says the server isn't responding. But notice this, I can load a website right into my presentation. and Let me show you how to do that. It's actually very easy. I'm going to go to uh, my whiteboard here and we're going to go to share and I'm going to choose web content. And With the web content I can just type in the address that I want my users to see in my classroom. So let's just check out cisco.com and I'll approve that and then it's going to load right in my presentation. So I can show people in my class, well, this is where you want to go click, and I can walk them through you know, whatever I wanted to do in, on this particular website. Now, the beauty of this is we can load all of these up in advance so that as I go through my class, I can begin with my presentation, and as I'm working through my presentation, I can hop over to show a particular feature on the website. So that's what all of these tabs are up here across the top, much like your web browsers and whatnot. Now, in addition to you know loading up uh, different websites and uh, PowerPoint slides and whatnot, we can actually go to share, and you can see there's a bunch of things that we can share with our class. You could share your whole desktop, a file, even the application, like if you wanted to give a demonstration. So there's a lot of features that we can share right in this training. So I encourage you to go out to Cisco, where I just was, and so here on Cisco you can check out and do a search for uh, the free WebEx or Cisco WebEx and then you can download a free trial and create a free account and then you can experiment with some of the stuff as you prepare for your Cisco certification in the virtual classroom environment.